Hello everyone, how are you doing? RGV here and we are back with another video. Today we're gonna do a different kind of video and it's gonna be more of an informative video on the thoughts um, that we have on the months that are ra uh, currently on, on the radar and of the meta, how it is of course. And I'm not alone today, I am with the latter hero himself, Storm So Say hi to the people. Yo, what's up? Yep, we're gonna be uh, having one of the best players out there um, opinions on the current meta and on the months that are currently on the radar. So let me know in the comments down below if you enjoy this type of content as well and if you'd like to see more of this. Um, and of course, leave a like if you enjoy. And if you haven't already subscribed, we are on the road to 5k. So just to start off with um these are the ones that are currently underrated uh pictured by finchnader we have uh magyarna ursaluna Ocarona, samacenta both apparently we both crowned and hero snizzler shenpao urshifu and light clay as well it's making the cut um what are your thoughts on on the ones that are on the radar or storm zone I think a lot of people like overread Magirna and not realize that some of its tools are actually break it and not the mod itself. I was more like focused on getting like Zamazenta Crown out of the tier because like it's so bulky. It's, it has like 700 BST and yeah. it just comes in with a free plus one. And it gets the iron defense, like and it probably it's all dark types too. Like if you look at King Gambit, before like the whole metal job, Gambit was like top tier, right? Yeah. People wanted to ban Gambit. Now the Samazentas came on. Like nobody using Gambit anymore. Yeah, you're actually right. I haven't seen Gambit in a while. I used one recently. I used one in a, in a team recently, and every time some ascent was on the on the other team, it did nothing. Yeah, so it doesn't do anything in this current matter. Yeah, and looking at Ursaluna, at first I think people just didn't know how to react to it. It's it's like the same situation as Walking Week. Is that they need to adapt to it. And I know I know it has almost no switch ins, but like it has combat play. Even even though I feel like it's broken, it does have combat play and I didn't realize until after I saw it stopped like performing at the level it used to, like when it just started. Yeah. Yeah, definitely Ursaluna, I I I don't think Ursaluna is ban worthy as well. Um it does have counterplay with the fact that it being so slow and at least for the moment as well anchor being so rampant and being able to anchor it and maybe into an immunity move uh allows you to set up and even uh reverse the situation however i am on the mag ban train I i'm not gonna lie about that 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 one is stupid i feel that magyarna is like a a better spot yeah i know a lot of what's gonna be on the magyarna ban train like it's there's no surprise there. They, they bound it in a gen without terror. Yeah. So they're definitely gonna ban it now. No, uh, like. But what do you think? Let's talk about Sneezler. What uh, before we go into Sneezler, Bagyarna? Um, do you think? I think it's a better Spatra, or do you think Spatra is better? No, Bagyarna is better. Yeah, that, that's what that's what I what I, what I uh, took as well. That is better because it doesn't even need Terra the to be was, threatened. The problem was thought power. That's the main problem with Magirna and Espata. Yeah. And I one move like them. Um, because in Gen 7, Magirna never had thought power and they kept it in the tier. Yeah. And it wasn't harmful. That is true. Stored power is the, the situation with those one two. Move. Okay, uh, you said you. I would... don't know if it had draining seven two. I don't know if he had it before. I think it didn't. 
Let's see, you said one to talk about Sneasler? Yeah. I wanted to talk about Sneasler. I don't think Sneasler is broken. It's just that one move, Diaclo. I think... I think the move itself is broken. But... I realize the Smogon precedent for banning moves it has to be on like other mons too. Yeah. But like, that's. They kind of contradicted themselves when they banned Last Respects though. Because you only got to saw it, you only got to see it in action in two months. And that's Houndstone and Basque Legion. You didn't even get to see it on Basque Legion and they still banned the move. They said it was obvious. Same mm. could be said about Sword Power. Yeah. Pe people try to dis the Sword Power argument by saying, like, we could ban, let's say, Bulk Up because of Annihilate. Yeah, and Palafin. But if you ban Suspects without investigating last Suspects on other months. So. It's, I feel like the same precedent could be used here on stored power and they could test stored power. And if Magana proves to still be broken, even with without stored power, then I'll then I'll just have my arm wrong, I guess. But at least try it first. Don't just jump to a quick plan. I don't I, I don't think the smogan uh, will do a complex man with stored power because there's a lot of a bunch of other mods that are not broken with it so they probably don't won't consider stored power as for dire claw i did ask finch, yeah that's true that's true also for for, for dire claw i did ask finch and he said that dire claw would have to be on another mon for them to consider banning the move instead of the of yeah. the mon it was just a proposition like literally to just give another option instead of just outright quick quick ban him again yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, i see um for this easter as you said as well i don't think sinister is broken broken at all even with the unburden uh set it, it has a lot of counterplay but the problem is dire claw because if you so happen to I get still, the sleep still yeah, I still do admit that Claw being fifty percent is kind of, kind of dumb, to be honest. Yeah, like there was this one match. And I could see it. Yeah, I, I, I got like T Thunder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, we had, I had this one match where I had the total lead. Like I think I only had Snizzler and another month, and I had like five months, and he double slapped me. He slapped my put, then sort of set up. But I think uh, yeah. then he slept Mike Limor or something like that. And that's but... not a low chance either. Yeah. Yeah, it's like I seventeen think, percent, right? And the fact that it bypasses the sleep clause, because it bypasses the sleep clause when it happened to you, right? Uh, no, 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 no. no. Um, my man wake up, waked up, but then he killed it, and then he slept the other one. Oh, but... so he woke up to it, and he slept again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He dark. He he, he slept both two months with dark class on the first try. It wasn't like two dark class on the first dark class that it hit each month. They fell asleep, and he totally I still swept don't me. believe that it's too much. Just just cause poison stab. Yeah, but just cause poison stab is not too spammable, and like it has an immunity too. Yeah, yeah. I don't... think it could be fine, but I could see why people want about it. Yeah, the thing is, it's it's um too much RNG. Like if you get if you get slapped, then at least in this meta, that could end the spell for the game with one sleep, while being the the same setup monster that can put you to one sleep. One thing though, I think with Shifu, I think with Shifu mm -hmm. would like get going later in the gym. It's like one of those mods that pick up yeah. after a few bands they place. Yeah, I don't think it'll it'll go now, but I think eventually people will um somehow I don't think it will. You think it will never get banned? 
it's gonna be banned later on but it's not gonna be banned right away yeah it's gonna be like single strike and sword and shield the last uh, like a six months a few yeah. bands yeah for it to be like a rising threat I... like green teams are gonna rise too it's only a matter of time because they, they ban magana once they ban magana you can't just throw water and just win against green teams if she could just throw water and say just strikes most teams yeah yeah definitely and it gets a buff with swords dance oh that sword sense is gonna be amazing so yeah. I, can test it. I i think it'll be i think it'll be banned eventually but they're not as gonna well. test it it will be banned eventually but it's not gonna be banned right now yeah i i think I so think too. Yeah, but for, uh, six to eight months i think so too yeah and uh, what are your thoughts on the on the light clay ban Like clay, I, I thought it was a genius idea to be honest. Like, like clay is like one of the main problems on hyper offense. Like, it makes screens eat turns, so it could essentially make any Pokemon broken. Yeah. So it might not be a bad idea to but, shorten the screens to five turns, so they can at least stall it out. Yeah, especially instead on of the... just comfortably set up. Especially, especially on this on the current meta that it's filled with a lot yeah. of fast sweepers definitely light clay is a problem I, i'm i'm i don't mind I, I really wouldn't mind the light clay man it'll give a lot of um variety to the teams that are will be yeah, running out i was playing 19 i was playing in 1900s and i, I keep keep seeing the same sticks every single game yeah. grim star either grim star or pulse one of the two yeah i think Pult is, i think Pult is the better the better the screen setter that. right now i wonder why people wasn't using it as a screen setter in like the previous matter because i feel like it would have been good with king gambit mm, yeah king gambit would have been able to sweep both screens in a, in a nice terror definitely um yeah I don't know maybe maybe uh since the the metal was a bit fatter wait what was that they used what was that term they use maybe it's like new toy syndrome oh yeah yeah that must be why that's it could be what about uh let's talk about xian pao i i think this man needs to go uh, i don't know well, why they brought it back i have i have mixed feelings about xian pao like I know, I made a post trying to defend Chien Pao. Oh really? Like earlier in this matter game before home, and like I was struggling so much to find defending points for Chien Pao because I like Chien Pao so much. Yeah, it's a cool so one. I was I struggled a lot. I don't think I ever struggled as much to find defending points for Chien Pao. Yeah, I think it's broken. Yeah, to be honest. It, it hits too hard. It's broken. It hits too hard, and and if, if it ability. was that hard to find support him, it was broken. Yeah, like it's a dark crash. Yeah, and even then, I, I like, I've, I've seen life orb. It's worse than the I I've seen life orb yeah. hit really really hard. Like for example, even Shifu, that's like the general answer for for Pao. Even bandit chief is not taken. It gets sucker punch too. Yeah. And you sort of have to guess between sucker punch and ice shard, and that can be the difference of a game. And you have to guess the set too. Yeah. You have to guess the set too. Yeah. And it could be run into a blast too, like you don't know. Yeah, I had the this. I think the first video that I uploaded, I got destroyed by uh. As the ground terra blast, I was not expecting that. Yeah. And then he just ran over me. I was, I was surprised they were using ground terra blast though, because plus two terra dark hits harder on any users. I think it was it was for more for stuff like mag, and I'm maybe That's, dirge. Maybe I don't know. Yeah. However, Crunch does kill Skeletor's, right? 
anyways can't you kill it yeah it can't be for the rondozo because that was his water type yeah 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 definitely and yeah i think power needs to go there there's no way around it power, power is probably getting banned darks, be good. without power yeah i think like roaring moon and other darks could rise after power gets spun yeah definitely i think Baxcalibur will rise again as well because Baxcalibur um dropped after shampao got released again which he thinks the sixth mon on the radar uh, when he he scratched out uh it's volcarona he, he already released it it's volcarona it's volcarona yeah i didn't see yeah he, he released it it's uh, volcarona the matchup muff with the introduction of feature and, and terror and still have a dragonite i don't think focus broker it's really good but like this has a bigger dex now uh, actually, so like you can't say it doesn't have to see anymore okay for on that matter i do actually i think i i don't remember if there was was on video or i think it was match in the previous, previous matter, mm -hmm. i would have said it was broken in the previous matter like before home it was broken before home i think it's i think it's a bit more broken now but i think it's only because of, of screens and how prominent they are because before it's only more broken because of these summer centers and chien power oh yeah summer center and chien power are way more broken that's a fact yeah and um what i think about volcarona and how it rises to right now is it's the fact that Mm -hmm. I think that what what um, changed a lot here is the fact that there's a lot of other good setup sweepers um, in the meta that um, make screens better. So that makes Volcarona ultimately better. Because I had this this one replay where I fought um, Heatran one on one. I got two plus three. I water turret, so Magma Storm didn't do much. So for Hitran to really beat Volcarona, it must be um, some sort of grass terror, I guess. And uh, yeah, it's toxic too. but it's toxic as well. Oh yeah, Hitran was toxic too. I keep forgetting about Hitran losing toxic. Oh yeah, he lost toxic. You're right. So yeah, it, it really even can a bit because I beat the Hitran one on one. It, Cause, it cause, gets power jump though. Got power jump. Yeah, but uh, for example, I got I got I, power jump. Let's check. I water Terad, and so Magma Storm didn't do enough damage, and of course he had to grass Terad as well. So I was able to outbeat it one v one with with Giga Drain. <laughs> so ultimately, Hitran is not like yeah, the, the, be, the, be, the best the uh, best um check for Volcaron. I think. Pokerana can only be like checked either with an Encore. I think with the introduction of uh, Arcanine history too. Yeah. It could e speed, turn on normal e speed. Yeah, 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 I guess. Um, But that's what we're, what we're going to to the issue with screens. If Pokerana is behind the screens, it's going to be able to, yeah. to Terra or whatever and, and uh, kill something off. And the fact is that you, or you're gonna either have to waste yes, your own Terra. That's, that's mm -hmm. It's because of screens. Screens is a problem there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm actually, I'm actually um, not against the light clay ban. feels like a week ago i would have voted ban to be honest i would have banned it likely but now i think i think post bans now for corona might fall off couldn't be um sleep with the addition of basculage and rain stuff and shifu yeah yeah rainy is gonna gonna be better now and also um what do you think on, on already happened but on the regality ban do you think it was the most broken one on the meta at the moment 
definitely. Yeah. Even Claude Sarah died. Yeah. I, I I think there were only a few. All, all the games came down to speed times. I thought a genius idea was Blunder using Thunder Hysteria or Terra Water. Volt Absorb. Yeah, I think he I think he actually... both Volt Switch and Terra Ice. Thought that was genius. I think I think I think he actually got that from me because one of on one of his lives, um he was just uh watching games. And he went into my game, and that was my LK check on my rain team. Oh, I I don't know if you saw, but yeah, that, I was, was a, that was a good that was a check. Yeah, that was that was that, I don't. That, it's, it's probably still a good. Yeah, that was my idea. The the Tandy T with the water Terra. Yeah, it's it's probably still a good set because it, it lost weather ball this gen. Yeah, sadly. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But yeah, um, I actually with that while Alec was running rampant, with that just with that set alone and rain, I was able to break two thousands for the first time, like a, a week ago. Nice. Um, I feel like once he hit like nineteen hundred, it's gonna be like easy to get to two thousand. But you struggle a lot in 1600s. <laughs> yeah, 1600s, it's it's hell. I can't I can't win in 1600s. If I'm being honest, after I use like, after use like, dishonest stuff, like, Gargana Korean. To oh. pass 1600s to 1700s, and get to 1800. Yeah. Actually in on the on then I can use anything after. <laughs> yeah. Actually recently I even um was able to one v one a Gargan Echo with Protect. Um with my Garna. Like draining kids would just out out heal everything else. And Mag was taking twenty five percent. I I didn't get have a terror where it only took twelve. Like so it was it's taking twenty five. Yeah, it, it, it did 1v1 it. I don't know if it was special defense guard, okay. but it, it did win. Birdie, but it was honestly able to. Didn't, I honestly, honestly didn't mind if they would have banned Magena, but not quick ban. I don't think they should quick ban. They should at least test it. Like, like a suspect I test? I think it's broken, but... I think it's broken, but yeah, I think it's broken, but it's not that broken to quick run it so quickly. Like five days into the jump, at least leave it for like two weeks. Yeah, definitely. Uh, See if it settles in. Contested. I don't know. That's that. I I am I am on the on the ban mag train, so I I don't think mag is surviving this weekend. I I think. The, from all the things that are on the radar, I think the only possible things that uh, won't last the weekend are Magyarna, uh, Shenpao, and Samasenta. I don't know if both are, will be gone or only crowned. I think only crowned because the hero form, the hero form is fine. Mm. It's a crown form. And maybe, maybe, maybe light clay if they go if they go into that direction because th that could be interesting. So maybe they go for it. But the other three ones are the ones that I think are gonna I'd be, be very gone. surprised. Yeah. So for example, I'd be very surprised if like clay actually. Yeah. But actually wanted to get banned. Because screens has been a problem every gen. At the start of every gen. Yeah. Every single gen. It's always screens. Was it like that in, in Gen 8 as well? What'd you say? Was it like that at the start of Gen 8 as well? Yeah. And 7. And 6. <laughs> oh, I didn't know. 
Okay, so it's only pull his bonds. Um, to summarize here, what months do you think will be gone by this weekend? You want me to be realistic, or you want me to give my opinion on it? Um, realistically, which ones do you think will be banned? Okay, so be realistic. Makuna, Chim, Paul, Samazan, Tacon. Okay. Sneezer. You think Sneezer yeah. is gone gone this weekend as well? The the way they're talking about it, yeah. Okay, and I just give them discussions mm-hmm. yeah and which ones do you think will be banned eventually eventually mm-hmm. to be honest everything on the list it'll just be spaced out in yeah. some months maybe Volker and I might stay but I don't see any of them staying long term wow so so you think that light clay will be banned together with the months or do you think light clay stays I would like likely to be banned, but I don't think it's gonna get banned. Okay. Yeah, so we're thinking that right now, I agree with you. Mag, Pao, and some Santa Crown leave. I'm thinking uh Sneezer stays Mag, at least for Pao. the first round. Sneezer. And then um yeah. for the second round, I would say that Hero and Chifu are gone. I'm thinking Luna and Volk may stay, but um, we'll have to see until until wave wave uh, round two and round three for those. Uh, Luna reminds me of like Alowak. It was good at the start, and then people were just adapting. Yeah, because you remember how Alowak was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. However, I think Barcelona is a bit, a bit uh, stronger, of course, because of the bulk. So, Alawak wouldn't take a hit yeah, outside of strong. TR. Too, too. Yeah. Okay, I think that about. Uh, it was it was a good comparison. The what? It was a good comparison. Yeah. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I think that about sums up what's on the radar and what the current meta game is. And just to um, wrap it up, what playstyle do you think will become prominent once the bans take place? Yeah. Uh, what? What? Um, Archetype or playstyle do you think will be the best once the bans take place? Do you think H host stays at the top? Nah, definitely BO. BO? Because of heat trap. Yeah. Back to BO. Okay. Yeah. I think so. Sounds good. Yeah, I can see that happening. Um well. It is a good place to stop, bro. Um, thank you again for being here with me. As always, it's a pleasure to have you on the channel. Anything else you would like to say to the people? Yeah, for sure. I want to come back and talk about like the other the other mods too. Sure, sure. Um, like eventually, if you have time. Yeah, yeah, for sure, bro, for sure um i think people will, will love this this type of, of um content so for sure we're gonna have around two of this with maybe we could we could do a ranking the hisu hisuian um pokemon that just arrived as well yeah the hisuian all the yeah. yeah that sounds about right we're gonna we're gonna set that up and let us know in the comments down below if you enjoy the content like today's and if you would like to hear from the latter hero himself uh storm zone how he ranks the history and pokemon and that's gonna be it from us everyone i hope you all enjoyed i'll see you next time see ya